So now let's create a scatter plot. That's our next chart. Okay, so um basically a scatter plot um helps us to or shows the relationship between two variables, right? And um help us to see if there's like a positive relationship, a negative relationship, or um no relationship, right? I think those are kind of like the 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 three basic simple relationships that um a scatter plot would basically show you right there's some there's some more relationship but i'm not going to go into those ones i'm just going to stick stick with the three ones if it's positive if it's negative or if there's no um relationship so in in this um uh, exercise my goal here is um can we build a scatter plot that displays the sales versus the profit right of products in the different subcategories right so one of our dimension is called subcategory right this is it here and then we have a measure called profit and a measure called sales right so can we see um uh the relationship between sales and profit um for the different product subcategories so i'm excited about this one so let's get started okay so the first thing we want to do here is to grab our profit measure and put it in our column. So that's going to be a green pill. So just grab it there and put it in the column. So we get that very long bar chart, right? <laughs> uh, okay. So, and if you remember, Anytime it's a measure, Tableau is always going to aggregate it, right? And then the next thing we want to do is take the sales measure and put it in the row. So take the sale measure and put it in the row. And we have like a first look of our scatter plot, right? Of sales versus profit. But because it's aggregated, we just see only one um, single circle. Right, which is this basically all the profit and then the sales, which is 2.2 .2 million dollars. Right, remember if we go to the data table, right, that's the sales there 2 million 297 um, thousand two hundred dollars and 86 cents. Right, so that's basically what Tableau has here. You could see you could see that um, there as well. Right, but then what do we do? in order to show all of the other um, uh, data points that we need in our scatter plot, because our scatter plot has to have <laughs> a lot of data points. So um, I would, would basically walk, walk that one after the other. So just, just follow along, right? Um, Okay, so the next thing we have to do is drag the category to our color card in the max card, right? So we we'll have to drag category over to this max here. So let's see that. So I'm going to put it there, right? So now we have the three categories, right? We have furniture, office supplies, and technology, right? So you have this legend over here kind of showing you what color belongs to what, right? Now we have that. Then the next thing we want to do is take the subcategory and place it in the label card. So now we have our subcategory and we'll place it over here. Now things start taking shape, right? DDCS, we place the subcategory in there. Things start taking um, shape and you could see the relationship between sales and profit. Do you know the nice thing I like about Tableau is that it gives you... Um, the 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 origin line right which is zero and because we're dealing with sales and profit you could basically see that um when you look at it from aggregated perspective 
we've sold or we've made sales of almost $330,000 for phones and we've made a profit of $44,000, right? So anything to the right of the zero origin basically means that we're making some profit and anything to the left means that we're losing money, right? So for tables, we've basically lost $17,000 in profit, but we've made we've sold $206,000, right, um, for tables. So some very interesting things that uh, we could basically look at there, right? So if we do not want to look at it from an aggregated perspective, you can come over to analysis, click on it, uh, and then just uncheck the aggregate measures. So once you do that, now we see all the sales that we've made for all the different um, subcategories, right? So you can see machines, we're not making profit there, but we're making profit on copiers, right? Like we've, we've sold $17,500 for copiers and we've made 8,400, right? So, um, but if I put the aggregate back, right? You could see um, copiers is down here. We've sold one hundred forty-nine thousand dollars, like for all the copiers, and we've made a profit of fifty-five thousand dollars. Right, so um, we've sold just three thousand dollars in labels, and we've made very small profit of nine fifty um, dollars. So, yeah. So as usual, I like to um, clean up my stuff and make it look really good and nice right so um so i'm just gonna just play around do a little do a little bit of cleaning and make sure everything is looking nice so let's start with this one i'm just gonna say format um i'm going to put my currency there or oh, let's say currency custom i'll make the units there Maybe display units of thousands. Um, so it's looking nice. Uh, no, I would use this one and just put uh, shit so that it does the whole workbook for me. And then 12 and put that there. Right. So now you can see like everything is looking nice and sweet. Right. So you could see the sales on the y-axis and uh, what's it called? And the profit on the x-axis. And then the other thing I like to do, let's see, what if we make this a fit to width? Okay, so that blows it up everywhere. All right, that's sweet. And then I am going to take out the grid lines. I don't want any grid lines, right? And as usual, I'm going to put my axis ruler. I love the axis ruler. So, um, yeah. So remember, anything to the right of the zero is making profit. Anything to the left is basically losing us. Uh, but we're not making profit on those on those products, right? So, this is basically how we create that um, scatter plot. So I'm just going to give it a name. Sales. Versus profit. By. Sub. Sub categories. Bold. This. Bye. Okay, all right. So I think we're good to go. Um, if you if you do not like the the shape, we could always come to shape here, and we could change it to maybe a solid circle line. Um, a solid circle, sorry. Or maybe we could make it a square, or like a solid square, or um or maybe even a star or something, right? But I think for now, I'm just gonna stick with the circles because I think I prefer that one. Um, but yeah.
All right, so that is our scatter plot. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to put a trend line. I think um so the trend line we have three different trend lines since we have furniture, um, office supplies and technology, right? Um so for furniture, we could see some sort of uh a positive relationship between sales and profit, right? Um, but then I see the p-value is 0 0.6, which is kind of like not significant, like a regression um, model is not significant. Uh, for for um for office supplies, it's also still positive, right? And I can see R square is like around um fifty percent. And the p-value is, is significant. And then for the last one is technology. R square is so poor. <laughs> but the p-value too is not significant. Um, yeah, it's almost like there's no relationship between sales and profit for technology. So, but um, yeah, just, just wanted to see how that looks like. All right, but that's that for our scatterplot.